right. know who's design, bro. That's right. You know who's right. Delinquent Delinquent design. design. That's right. The way I'm living, I'm gonna die to shine and bigger things is what I need. What's up fam, my name is Jay with Daily Delinquency, back with another video, and today we have a 2023 Chevrolet Corvette C8 HTC in this beautiful rapid blue with a two-tone blue interior, a rapid blue and navy blue. This is a 3LT, fully loaded with carbon, beautiful car. We're going to be adding a custom painted high wing. We are also gonna be doing some lowering collars from Paragon and adjusting the rear stock coilovers to lower this car just a little bit and give it a nice ride height. We're also gonna be doing some audio. We're gonna be upgrading the rear speakers to some Focals and adding an audio control amp. We are also gonna be installing some Paragon grill inserts, the ones for the rear gills, as well as the ones for the front grill. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right guys, taking this bumper off so that we can take off this wing and put on the new high wing. Let's get it. Now that we got the wheels off the car and we have it up in the air, we're gonna go ahead and remove the front strut assembly and we're gonna take it apart and put our new Paragon lowering collars in. And that's gonna bring that front down just a little bit to uh, make that wheel fit snug in that wheel well and make it look good. Any day now. I had it 17, bro. Okay. This is the 76 one. I get a little winded running back and forth. <laughs> 15. I'll punch you dead. <laughs> hey, cool. Ready? All right, suspension is done, rear wing is on. Now it's time to jump into the audio. We got our grills in, everything's good to go on the outside. We're gonna jump into this audio. We're gonna run some zero gauge OFC wire and uh, we're gonna undo some unboxing here and show you what all we got for everything. Alright guys, so we have our audio control D5-1300. This is a five channel amp with a built-in crossover, a built-in DSP, and a built-in line out converter. This is all controlled by either app or software via the laptop. We can go ahead and hook it up with this USB cable and tune and adjust everything exactly how we want it once we get it installed. These are the rear speakers that we're gonna be replacing. These are little light chintzy Bose speakers. Although it does sound good in there, like I said, we need some more oomph in the back. So we're going to be replacing them with these Focal 4 inches. A lot beefier and a lot more sound clarity out of these uh, instead of these. Our coilovers are adjusted and done and ready to go. We got our lowering collars in the front installed. 
So this thing is ready to go. I want to double check my measurements on here before we put the wheels back on. So we'll probably put the wheels on last. Uh, I am going to go ahead and jump into this now. We're all ready to go for our fiberglass subwoofer for enclosure. We're going to be running the Pioneer Z series, super slim, uh, shallow mount. Uh, this is one of the slimmest ones that I could possibly find uh, that would put out enough oomph for our setup. So we're going to go ahead and get our base laid with our fiberglass. We're going to go run that on our passenger side back here, right behind the seat. Yep, that's maxed out. So we don't have much room to work back here, nor much room to uh, put the box itself. So definitely making this box removable. He said he doesn't ever have anybody in the passenger seat hardly anyway, so it's not a problem. And he's willing to rock with it. So let's get it going. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fibers. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. So the idea is to run this bad boy right here. All right, guys. Wish us luck. So I think I got it pretty well protected and ready to go. What do you think, guys? Overkill or not enough? I just don't want to get any epoxy anywhere it is not supposed to be, uh, or resin. I even uh, taped up the seatbelt here just in case I want to get any drip. So we're going to go ahead and start laying our mat down here and uh, get our mold made and uh, go from there. Let's get it. All right, guys. I got the box pretty much decided how I want it. I got it all uh, designed up on my design software over here with the correct airspace. So we'll get it tuned properly. And uh, we actually have uh, enough airspace. Should be fine. Uh, and it should sound really good, so I think we're going to be all right. Let's start laying it down. We got about three layers in here. I think we're going to do a couple of more, get it nice and thick, and then we'll get it out. All right, guys, got to go about five layers on this mold. We're going to pull it out, and then I'll add more to it. after a long sleepless night of trying to figure out how to tune this damn amplifier perfectly and uh, understand how it all works properly uh, it's really really cool I'll show you guys how it works here in a second I got it all hooked up and I got it tuned in pretty good I do want to make some final adjustments to get it perfect where I want it but uh, it sounds pretty cool let me show you guys what it looks like so check it out got it mounted here behind the seat got the wires cleaned up pretty much for the most part we'll tuck them a little bit better but uh, we got our data cable hooked up right now into our laptop and we have the dm smart dsp app from audio control on here this app controls everything within the amp there's actually no physical switches on the amp itself uh, other than a remote sense turn on and uh i'll show you here you get live feed for music playing and you can adjust it on the fly there's also an app for this if you have the bluetooth module for it uh, it's really cool <laughs> All 
around. I can't play too much of that because of copyright, but uh, we ended up going with uh, five and a quarter drivers in the rear of the car in the very bottom, and then the Focal Performance uh, full range speakers in the tops above that. We're not gonna mess with that center channel at all uh, if we don't need to, so I went with a full four channel uh, setup in here, and it sounds amazing. I'm very happy with the way we decided to do this, and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Wish that someone could say Tatted on my brain. brain. I'ma bring the dollars, let Obama bring the change. See me in the tightly crowd for mine. And when I want, don't grow on trees. The way I'm living, I'ma die to shine. And bigger things is what I need.